G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axe Man here from Axe Man's Family Fishing and Adventures. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a preparing for snapper season. The snapper's starting to come in at the moment, we're getting a few around, a few small numbers have been caught, some good sized ones. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of part series and preparing for snapper season. Today we're going to do the rigs that I use. Look, as I've said before, I'm no professional. I show you what I use and if I'm successful, that's great and you can use it as well. Biggest part about setting up your rigs is making sure you have a spread of different rigs out there. You can see what's working on the day, that's always changing. I've caught fish on every single type of rig that I've used. So today we'll have a look at a few of the rigs that I use um, and I'll show you how to do them and we'll see how successful you guys can be on them, alright? Okay, so the first rig that I'm going to show you, this is actually on one of my snapper rods at the moment, ready to go. So what we've got, we've got a snelled hook there. So you can see the black background on the top hopefully. Snelled rig, tied the bottom with a, uh, the, sec the second hook's a slider. It slides up and down depending on the very size of your bait. Um, I use this predominantly on either a silver whiting, a pilchard, or even like a California squid. Um, so, so that goes like that. The slider, I always put a green glow bead on there. I don't know why, I just like them. <laughs> they seem to work for me. And then I've got a small ball sinker there as well. And that just runs, that's my leader. Usually I'm using between a 30 pound to 50 pound for snapper. Um, today I'll show you most of my rigs will be on a just a black magic 60 pound just because it's a bit thicker and hopefully you'll be able to see it on this nice bright pink blanket that I've put down. So also the, the length of the lead is very important. Um, I like to put one that's maybe about half a metre um, and then I'll use one that might be about 1.8 metres, about six foot. So that's part of being those varied different rigs is throw some down at 50 centimetre leader, throw some down at the six foot leader and see how you go. That just goes straight up to a nice big swivel. Nice big swivel there. And then I've got also a little bead there and that just protects the eyes on your, um, on your rod as well, on your guides. All right, so that's why that one's there and that's into my, I think I've got 30 pound 30 pound line on there as my um onto the line, onto the reel. All right, so I'll show you how I rig this one up. Okay, so I've got my piece of leader here. This is just a short piece, um, just for the purpose of the demonstration. I'm hoping that you can catch it up on this uh, pink background. So um, personally. I've, I've been steering away from circle hooks. I know a lot of people love them and, and, and swear by them. Um, I've noticed that I miss more hookups with a circle hook than I do with these J hooks. These hooks that I'm using here are five O's. Um, I think they're something like a BKK or something like that. Um, super sharp, fantastic hook. I picked them up from the guys down there at Melbourne Marine in Hallam, which are a great bunch of blokes. Go and see. Jamie and Andrew down there, they're top blokes, uh, help you out, they're very knowledgeable as well. So I'm using the 5.0, basically slide it down the back of the, the hook there, like that. Don't matter if you've got a little bit of a tag, you can snip that off later. So once you've run it down the back there, we just start wrapping it around, go down. Slide it up a bit tighter too, and then I go back up the hook as well. And then, once you've got to the point of the end, you slide it back through the eye of the hook and pull that one tight. You can move that down, like that there, and the old nail clippers. Snip off that end bit there. Like so. so there's your first hook. Now for your extra hook. Just making sure that we've got it going down this way on, not this way. This way here. Down. And that's basically our extra hook. 
so from there, you basically put on your, um, your swivel, which will go to your main line. And it's easy just to, I just use a nice blood knot half a dozen times through the last hole, grab onto the end, bit of lubricant, lick that one, and then pull that nice and tight. You know it's right when you see that little barrel knot there, and also clip that off. Can put the green, green bead in between there if you like, in between the two hooks, but I, I don't tend to do it on this one or after the second hook. But that's basically your rig. You'll have one hook coming out one side of your bait, and the other hook coming out the other side of the bait like that. That's how it will sit. Very, very effective rig for me. That's that's my go-to every year. Always have that one out. All right, let's go look at the next one. So you've got that, that last rig that I just showed you there with the two hooks. Like that, going up to your, your swivel. So basically, after the swivel, this is what you're doing. This is what I do anyway. Goes to my main line. I've got one of these little uh, sinker slides. It slides up and down, comes to the thing, and that's why you've got your distance there between your swivel and your hooks. And those little clips, you can adjust, obviously adjust your weights, depending if you're in Western Port or Port Phillip or wherever you are, you can put a smaller one on and it's nice, quick and easy, depending on the tides. So I find them really good. And obviously a little glow bead there again, and that's just to when I'm winding it in, just to protect the uh, the guides on my rod. So that's basically the setup for that last rig. But this is the rig that I use also, and it's basically just a one single hook. On these single hooks, um, I will put usually half a uh, silver whiting, half a silver whiting, push it through the bait, come out the other side, right the way through and make sure you've got exposure coming out through the head. A lot of snapper will take the head first. Um, so it's very important to either have it coming out the front of the head or the side of the head um, for a good hookup rate for the snapper. All right, so I'll show you just a couple more rigs now. It's always very important, as I said before, to have different types of rigs and see what's working on the day. Different types of baits predominantly your silver whiting, your pilchards, squid. Squid wings are very popular now. Um, a lot of people that are using the circle hooks will use the squid rings, and um, they seem to be the best best baits going around at the moment for snapper. So I was just showing you that, that single hook with the snell there that I like to use. Now, um, I've had a great deal of success with this one, the single hook by itself with half a um, pilchard or half a silver whiting, totally unweighted. Just your leader going up to your swivel and then onto your main line, totally unweighted. Um, the other way is to use a very small ball sinker. Okay, so we've got our rig there, you've got your single hook down to your ball sinker that floats down. Now there's two ways of doing it again. Sometimes I will put on the green bead. That sort of protects the ball sinker rubbing up against your knot or rubbing up against the line. So the bead, then your running sinker. So it can ride up and down like that and protect you protect your hook and the line. Very effective rig too. Obviously you can do the same thing with the two, two hooks that we had previously, but very effective. Slowly takes the bait down, not with like a big heavy sinker, um, and makes it look a bit more natural as well, I suppose. But very effective rig. Okay, so we're back here with the, uh, the old faithful snapper snatcher. It's also very good with um, catching flathead. Very, very good with catching flathead. So, snapper snatcher, the colours I seem to like best. We know I've got a blue and a blue and a pink on this one. Um, 
also I like the green ones, greens with a bit of red. And I think they've got about 5.0 look on those. Try different baits. I find um, squid, squid rings on these seems to be quite effective. Um, but I like to put a squid on one, maybe a bit of silver whiting or a pilchard on the other one as well. Um, and we've caught fish up to that 3-4 kilo mark, no problems on these snapper snatches all the time. So they come with a, a swivel up the end, like that there. I'll put the bead on to protect the rod. Down to the first hook. Second hook. Comes down to another swivel with a, a bit of a clip on it there and that's basically how can, you can adjust the weights if you want to put a heavier weight on. A little bit more running current, nice and easy, quickly done, and you're ready to go. So, always have at least one, maybe two snapper snatches down there. I like to put it right down onto the bottom and then just raise it up a couple of turns so it's just off the bottom. And any movement in the boat, a little bit of movement like that up and down with the bait, find that very effective. So, a couple of snapper snatches is definitely the go. Um, if you're out there. I've um, years ago at my son and my daughter so you can have four rods each in Victorian salt water there. Um, we tend to stick to a total of eight rods maximum. Four each side of the boat. One each side of the boat will always be a snapper snatcher. Very very effective. Use them. Okay another great thing to use on snapper. Um, always tuck at least one rod down with a soft plastic. Um, I don't have any on me at the moment but I Quite often you will use a six or eight inch um, pink. I think they're a gulp, um, with a little bit of the uh, special sauce on it, which is the scent that comes with them. A little bit of a squirt of that. Once again, throw it all the way down to the bottom, take a couple of turns up so it's sitting off the bottom, and just let it move with the movement of the boat up and down. I also use, had a, bit of, a fair bit of success actually with. Um, these little rigs that are quite similar to a snapper snatcher. Uh, they come with a two, sometimes I think this one's three, three little octopus with the hooks on them on the side like that. So up the top you've got your swivel which goes to your main line. You've got a little swivel and a, a clip at the bottom which you put to your um, sinker. And same again, as I said before, might take it all the way down to the bottom with a sinker and then a couple of turns up and so it's off the bottom and it's got that movement of the boat helping you to do it. I've thrown out this one previously before with just a hook underneath it and I've put a sinker up in the centre there um, and pulled it through this way first and then had the hooks, two hooks dangling down one up high and one down low, just in that snell type thing, it's fixed hooks, and that's quite good. And those those octopus come in all different colours. You get them silver and white and blue. I've had had effect mainly with the white and the silver ones, so they're quite effective. So it's just another another type of rig, another type of uh, catching snapper is using the soft plastics and these type of little octopus. Right, so the next one I'm going to show you is similar to the first one, which was that double snell, um, but the second hook was a slider on the first one. This one's a fixed one. Now, some people don't like the slider. They say that they don't get as many hookups on that second hook, and they prefer to have it fixed to the main line, which is not a problem. I'll use, I'll use both. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll show you how to do the double hook for the snell, and once again, predominantly used for your silver whiting, your pilchards, and, and your squid, whole squids. All right, so I'll show you how to do that one now. Okay, so we've got our leader here. You can see it on the background. And we're gonna do our double snelled fixed. So we have two hooks. As we did the single one in the back, down the side, at the back of the hook, and then start wrapping it around. Nice and tight. Get uh, maybe about half a dozen or a bit more there, and then I start to go back up. Get to the top. Once she's through, 
grab hold of it, pull that right the way through, so it's nice and tight like that. You can slide it up a bit. Very strong. Snip that off. So it's nice and tight there. All right, then you want to measure your bait that you're using. Obviously, you want this hook to come out through the side of the head, all right, and you want the other one probably two thirds up your bait. All right, so, and you basically want it on the other side as well. So what we want to do this time, sliding the hook up through the back that way. It's about the distance that we want for a, uh, a silver whiting. About that much there. So then we go the opposite way, winding it down. Pulling it tight. Back up, just over the top of it. And then once we get to there, we get the end of our leader. Up through the end of it, end of the eye of the hook and pull that tight so there we have it nice strong got our two hooks one on either side of the bait all ready to put through a silver whiting pilchard that's uh good on the s a small squid as well you can hook it down the bottom one through the, sort of the head of the squid where the eyes are and then one up through the top of the pin of the hood which is a great bait you leave those legs dangling down as well and depending on what you're going to do in regards to sinkers, you can put your glow bead on to protect your knot. You can have no sinker at all and let that one float down. You can put your little sinker on. Have that like that. So you've got your running ball sinker down to your hooks. Or then you can put your swivel on there and then on your main line, attach one of these with your different type of weight, whatever you want to use. All right. That's probably my favorite and the most, I think the strongest rig that you can use for, for fishing for snapper. And I think it's a great one. All right, guys. So that's about it for these type of uh, rigs. The next part of my videos is going to show you on how to rig up your baits on these type of rigs. Okay, everyone, so I've shown you three or four or five different types of rigs there today that you should use on your snapper. Okay, I will, um, my next video, part two, will show you how to rig up your baits onto these rigs. Silver whiting, pilchards, and maybe some squid as well. I'll show you how to hook them up. To these for your best results. All right, guys, catch you out on the water soon. Hopefully, we uh, hear some good news from Dan today that we can get out in the water with no restrictions. That would be awesome. And big shout out to the Mighty Tigers who had a good win last night, come from behind victory. See you guys.